Ooh. All right, here we go. Welcome, everybody, back to Alien Dawn. Stranded Alien Dawn, to be precise. We checked this game out a couple of days ago. Turned out to be a surprising amount of fun with base building and mechanics that reminded a lot of people in the chat, including myself, of RimWorld, but also a little Banished in here, a little... Um, uh, a couple of other base builders that it feels like, like Dawn of Man and uh, also a little bit of uh, Icarus for some reason. I guess it's how the structures and the materials and, and textures look for when you're actually building your base. Pretty cool. I've enjoyed it so far. This game's out now in early access on Steam. And uh, hopefully we'll be getting more improvements and features and things over time. The only thing I've really seen missing here is like different types of biomes and areas to build. So primarily it's like a mountainous, I don't think of like see the uh, Washington area, Pacific Northwest, or like the, uh, you know, the uh, Alps or something along those lines, but mixed in with uh, different types of canyons and plateaus and rocks and stuff. Very cool game. We've really mu very much enjoyed it. And uh, a lot of you guys were saying that you enjoyed it too and that you were checking it out as well. So that's cool to see. Oh, Unhatched reporting eggs in the chat. Excellent. Well, good to see you all here. Welcome again, everybody. Thanks for all the uh, memberships and such. I saw some people saying that, yeah, they've been uh, playing it for quite some time since it first came out uh, uh, earlier this week. So that's good. Anyway, welcome back as always. Thanks again for your memberships. Thank you very much for becoming new members. Thanks for your member milestones. Thanks for all the super chats this week. Welcome to all you new subscribers, long-time subscribers. Welcome to Stranded Alien Dawn. Should be a good time. Nope. Oh. There we go. You got three of your uh, three or four survivors killed on day twenty-nine. Uh oh. Well, I'm playing on the easier settings for this first run, and we'll continue on with the save from last time because you know the game's not really complete, so I wasn't sure how the difficulty would be. But if we start another run, I'm definitely going to step things up a bit because now we know some of the basics, and uh, kind of cool to actually experiment and see how nice this game is in terms of managing the electricity how like the electricity storage works and defenses and things like that at the base so pretty cool all right let's jump back into our previous save and see how it goes you wish that they would let you customize the people you start with i think that'd be cool too or at least adding a lot more but i think what they're trying to do is make it a little bit more challenging for when you interact with them you know like people having um you know like uh r relationships like siblings that type of thing but uh, it would be cool if you could also make your own. That would be super cool. All right. So as we left off, we were heading into winter. So it's late fall of year one. So we're pretty much heading into uh, Welcome. the winter months. Yeah, Ka uh, Carrie, thank you very much for the 12 months as a raptor egg. And Mama Dragon with the... New Raptor membership yet again. Thank you very much for uh, renewing your membership. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we're going to be attacked by uh, some flying animals, some some bugs out here. Yeah. Now, this is interesting. One thing I've seen in this game, too, is that you can build a base on the cliffside. You just have to build, like, foundations and stuff to build your buildings. So you could build, like, a little... You could, like, ma make your big main door here, like a little walkway to then build onto the cliffside. But then that means all the animals and stuff are going to attack you from one point, so... Maybe sometimes it'll be better to make multiple em entrances, so that way if a big group shows up, they'll split in half or something like that. But uh, you'd have to then, you know, focus all your defenses on one point. We get things like flamethrowers and machine guns. Um, of course, your people can also have weapons too, so you can put them in towers and things like that. But it'd be good times. Do uh, Spice Girls exist in this universe? I hope so. I hope so. Oh yeah, the music is very good in this game for sure. Well, last time we played, we built a nice-looking house, which looks like a starter house out of The Sims. It's amazing to me how much this game channels The Sims, even though I don't think it's even trying to. It just, I don't know. It kind of like the layout kind of feels like it. Oh, also, big po best game? Best game ever created because they're, they actually put little chimneys here, like little stove pipes for your stoves and uh, like actual ventilation. Or like your, uh, like for example, your wooden um, fireplace here. That's pretty amazing, dude. Haven't seen many games even try to do that. That's pretty nice. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Can you build a second floor on the current place? Yeah, you can actually build multiple floors to your base. Yep. Um, since we're... This is kind of our first winter, so I'm kind of bracing for the worst. So before I build more stuff, you can already see they built a snowman out front when it snowed earlier. Um, we're going to try to just kind of see how things go. 
Alright, let's unpause and let winter come along and see how that animal attack goes. I think we need to get our people up ready to go. Everybody has a weapon, so let's get everybody fighting. Can you build 18 floors? I have no idea. I've seen the possibility for two. Are they attacking the roof of my house? What are you guys doing? Well, that was easy. Are they dead? Yep, they're gone. Wow, that was amazing. Okay. Well, there we go. Alright, everybody back to bed then. Make some more meat tomorrow. So what's going to be interesting about this game is like the multiple years that you have to survive when you have to start making more... Like we're going to start doing farming probably next spring. So when we get around to it, we'll clear this area out and start building some farms there. So far we've been mostly uh, surviving on meat and then also like berries. and We've been mostly hunting and gathering, which seems to be working out okay so far. But eventually we're going to have to start farming stuff to make more fabrics. And we can also make uh, silicon that way. You found a sniper rifle? Oh, good for you. Yeah, I wonder if I can actually claim things from other crash sites. So far, it looks like you can get metal, but it'd be cool if there were other down spaceships where... Like, maybe it was an empty ex escape shuttle and there was just people in it or something. I mean, not people in it, but just, like, supplies for people in it. Hey, what's up, Daniel? Oh, one streamer you watched started with a sniper rifle from their first ship. Oh, well, maybe that has something to do with who you pick. Maybe they get special starting gear or something? I, I think I remember something like that. I might be thinking of a different game, but that sounds kind of familiar. You can claim more stuff at other sites. Oh, cool. Well, we'll uh, we'll get through it. We'll kind of uh, putz along a little bit for a little while, and see how it goes. We got people here with split personalities. That's fun. Two unfinished items. Oh, somebody was just doing something at the crafting bench, but then stopped. I love the way our pantry turned out. This game's really nice. I feel like this should have a mode like in Manor Lords where you can go into third person as somebody and take control of them. This would be total. Like, look at this. There's no reason you can't, like, take control of somebody and, like, walk through a door. Like, you should be able to play third person. That'd be awesome. Or first person, whatever. But it'd be kind of cool to do that. Oh, if you start with the cyborg, you start with the sniper railgun. Okay. Is that, uh, what's his name? Connor or something like that? Or Conrad? He's one of the guys you cover in the tutorial. He's like part cyborg. Yeah, I think you could do a random start. Yeah, I think you can hit a random button and it'll just randomly pick survivors. This time I tried to pick like with the most optimal settings. Like I made, I threw it onto easy and gave myself some of the people that seemed like they would work together the best. Which is cool because we've learned... Uh, my favorite part about this game was like learning out about things like, for example, this here, this weird two plant, like, creates, like, a sweet syrup that you can then make either, well, your people can just eat it, or you can make, like, uh, alcohol out of it and refine it, so that's kind of interesting. Oh, wow, a whole herd of these boys have moved in. Now we got a lot of meat out in front of the house to take advantage of whenever anybody wakes up. Oh, we got people constructing the tower. Good. Hi from Portugal. Hello. What's up, man? Good to see you in the stream. Good to see you all here. You know what I think I want to do here is move this uh, fire uh, torch away and then start storing stuff like outside the house. But wait a minute. I forgot. We made our uh, little storage area here. So we could delete these and start putting stuff inside the little shed we built back here. I kind of put a little log cabin there to try to store all, all the rest of the stuff. Dude, this looks so nice. I, I've got to say, like, I'm actually really impressed with how, like, the buildings look. Like, this feels like it could have been a third or a first person game. 
And that trailer for the game is like the first, I don't know, 80% of the trailer is so confusing. You think to yourself like, wait, is this like a is this like a first person survival game? And it's like, no, you actually manage a group of people like in, you know, RimWorld or something. That's cool. Hey, what's up, Becca? Good to see you. And uh, Cyan, good to see you as well. Hi from England. Oh, you're watching from England. Hello. Welcome. And Eagle Wing from the Netherlands. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you. All right, so who do we got? We got Ken, Lara, Quinn, Simon, and Jayla slash Layla whenever she has her um, mood swings. Ozzy, you're from Minnesota. What's up, my man? You know, one thing I've noticed in this game, too, is we haven't had to make tools. Like, the basic tools for pickaxes, knives, and axes we haven't had to make. But we have to make weapons and things. Which is interesting. You're sculpting to streamers again. Oh, you're doing sculpting while watching streams? That's cool. I know a lot of people who do art or spreadsheets or music. Like, they do their own thing while they watch and whatnot. It's cool. Well, thanks for watching. Appreciate that. Oh, uh, I forgot. We're starting to make jackets, too, aren't we? Because our our spaceship gear or our spacesuit gear is starting to go real bad. They've been out here for about a year, and the their other stuff's going bad. So we're trying to give everybody a warm coat, yeah. So we're, I think we made four of those. I like how the inventory works here, too. Just roll over. It's very easy. You know, like if you're wondering, oh, what do I have for scrap metal? Well, you can see that at a glance. But for things like food, you can see precisely what kind of cooked food you have. Or for medicine, you can see, oh, yeah, we have uh, 20, uh, 10 bandages and 20 first aid kits, that kind of thing. Hey, Jerry. Good to see you, man. Jerry, I'm proud of you, my, my man, for uh, your Marauder streams and such. I'm glad you finally got a webcam, a decent mic, and a good chair for yourself. Very nice to see you streaming, dude. And uh, I hope we play Marauders again sometime soon. I had the, I had the most fun in that game because of your expertise, man. So thanks for helping me and many, many, many other people have more fun by your leadership, dude. Appreciate that. That was fun, man. We worked together, and that was great. But somebody's got to take point, and I'm glad it was you, dude. Uh, Venomous Heart, thanks for the 10, dude. So what's on the menu for today? Building the second floor walls around the camp. What's the plan? Thank you, dude, for the 10. I think what we'll do here is we'll... I'm starting to build like a an area with towers here so maybe what i'll do is i'll make, make a main gate here and then we'll put walls like see if i can build a wall through here or maybe more towers or something like that but i'm going to try to make a main gate but also i want to try to survive winter so i guess we're going to figure out how brutal winter can be how challenging it can be and then we'll try to make more food tools weapons and other things like that and then see if we can go i'll well, just kind of get a feel for winter and then start making defenses and farming that should be good times so what is on the menu for today yeah, building brother. floor two building walls around camp what's the plan boss raptor yes sir uh, is that jerry from the ghostbuster stream indeed it is yeah we also um stream uh marauders with jerry too a lot, a lot of times jerry's in these streams He's either in the chat or in the little stream himself, so that's cool. Sadia, hey, yeah, Sadia. Oh, good. Everybody's looks like they're getting ready to put stuff into the uh, base. Excellent. <laughs> Raptor, I want you on my podcast. All right, well, send an email. Uh, it should be on the main channel, and... Uh, I'll look into it as soon as I can. It's going to be a busy time of year, though. Got a lot of games coming out. And surprise games like this one. I didn't even know this was, like, kind of a thing until... Well, there was. it was like... It popped up at Gamescom. And I was like, uh... I don't know about that one. That was weird. And then when it came out, I was like, oh, I actually want to give this a try. Why are the towers facing inside and not outside? What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wall that goes back this way and then down here so the walls will be able to shoot this way this will all be outside so this will be outside and outside so they'll and then there'll be a main gate here so they'll be able to shoot down left and then maybe a little bit back this way too if i build the wall this way essentially the way um 
it seems the way the towers work is that uh, the people will be able to shoot from three directions, so they don't just necessarily have to shoot like that way. But we'll figure it out. I want to try some different build techniques and see what works. Alright, so we're moving everything into storage. I feel like we should put a window in here or something. Or maybe a light. I love how the lighting works in this game. Interestingly enough, this is like a nice little medium between like The Sims and a survival game. A while ago, I was trying to play The Sims as kind of more of a survival game. I was like, oh, I'm going to build like a survival house. Like, this is what it'd be like if like you were living off the land or whatever. But I tried to build off the grid as best I could. And it was fun, but, you know, there's a lot of things that you want to do more. Is it safe to put a mushroom torch inside? Good question. I don't know. I assume you could, if you could put a regular torch inside, you could probably put a mushroom one inside, but I don't know. I mean, the mushrooms are used for curing, so... I would assume it's safer if it... Well, actually, it's poisonous to eat those, but you can eat them when they're cooked, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you can build, um, you can build, like, small waist high. Oh, I forgot we have to connect to power here. Yeah, you can build waist high, um, walls and then, like, palisades. A couple of different types, it looks like. And we're smelting a lot of scrap metal into metal alloys. I feel like we should build a couple more of those. Those were pretty cheap. 20 stone and 10 sticks. Wow, that's very cheap. Build a couple more of those. You got three days of food, sad face? Ah, uh, that's okay. We're, what, we just got a bunch of uh, animals butchered up out front of the house. We'll be all right. We're going to be hunting all this year. We got more people making food. And food is going to constantly be rotting anyway. But luckily we now have a fridge up. So it's actually really cool. We've got a fridge. And that stores quite a bit of things. But now we got to get some more. Let's plan some meals. Yep. Uh, we won't find much of those anymore. Cool. Alright, let's go find some more food. We might still be able to harvest things. But we can always hunt. Especially these... Um, we need to hunt these ulfins because... They provide hides for uh, jackets. We need to get some jackets. Oh, here we go. Let's go harvest some of those things. Since winter is so close, I'm going to just order for a bunch of things to be... Harvested. All right, let's do scheduling. That actually is kind of working out for us. All right, so everybody was on construction. I think we can fall back on that a little bit. Let's do harvesting. We should get everybody to learn harvesting at least. Even if they suck at it or hate it, it's important. Uh, I don't know if there's animal husbandry in the game. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually take those ulfin and, like, uh, breed them or do anything like that. If that were possible, I'd like to probably start with a small bird and feed them, like, grain cob. That'd be cool. And we're short on sticks. Oh, we can easily make sticks from the, uh... Yeah, from the, uh, chopping block. So let's make it until we have... Uh, let's have like 50. Fine.
Harvest all the delicious fat. Yeah. Oh, more muff. Uh, what are they called? Butter melons? Yeah, butter melons. Yep. We're going to try to harvest everything we can just before winter, which is a like we need to go ASAP. And we should be able to get everybody some clothing. New resource, dried smoke leaf. Okay. Oh, boy. Yep, Lara and Simon got engaged. Uh-oh. All right. We're going to have to have a wedding. Yeah, those two started a relationship in our last stream. They were, like, dating or whatever. Now... Uh, now it's now it's official. How did he propose? Like with grain cob or something? Uh, let's see. Wooden workbench. We we're making more cloth. Oh, that's right. We have a tailor bench too for cloth making. Yep. Oh, we just need somebody to make it. Then everyone will have their own coat. Do they need their own room now? Yeah, we'll put them out back here. speed of time a little bit cool we can see the temperature inside it's 13 degrees celsius inside so not not too bad outside it's negative three but they also should have blankets and warm coats and stuff yeah a lot of people are calling this 3d rim world i haven't played too much of that but i could definitely see the comparisons especially with like the scheduling and kind of the ability to prioritize activities I like that system too. Space Haven also uses this system too for scheduling and activities. I like that game as well. Oh, Ken's out harvesting? Good man. I think he's like a workaholic or something. What's his thing? Uh, Common cold. Ooh, he's feeling sick. It's dark, negative six. Disturbed sleep, negative six. But he's well fed and there's more positives than negatives. Yo, Ermo, thank you very much Keep for the big O20. Great work, Raptor. Thank you, brother. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Let's do this. Let's let, let everybody do an hour. No, let's do two hours more of free stuff at the end of the day. And do a little bit more sleeping. And I think we'll do... kind of liked it the way that before. Let's do two hours in the morning and two hours at night. But we'll let them... How many hours is that? Four, eight, nine? Okay, well... Let's start like this. We'll do two hours in the mornings. kind of like that. All right. All 
All right, so the engagement, great, common cold. I, we should have medicine for that. I don't know if that actually affects it. We'll see. Uh, any gifters? Yeah, if you guys have your... Uh, if you hit the join button and hit the dots in the corner and turn your... There's a membership thing. If you set it to allow, if anybody else in the chat drops you a membership, you'll be able to claim it automatically. But you have to have it turned on in advance, so make sure you've got that turned on. What's up, Trent? Good to see you. Oh, just people moving through the same room where somebody's sleeping could cause disturbances for sleep? Really? That seems pretty weak. That's weird because we, like, researched advanced sleeping techniques. So much for that. Somebody opens the bedroom door to go out and it, like, wakes everybody up. Okay, we got more than enough power. That's good. Everyone wants their own room, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, but also... Like, there's no showering or no... There's no restrooms of any kind, so... At least not at the moment in the game. Empty and deconstruct those, please. Hunter without ranged weapon. Oh. Wait, who's our good hunter? Alright, Simon has pneumonia. We gotta make sure that's a higher priority. What's up, Dave? How you doing, man? Yeah, build a guest house and a pretty garden, yeah. People are going to want, like, a, a nursery. Oh, no. Laura and Simon are going to want a nursery, and... He's got mild pneumonia. How are we doing? Well, overall, he's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that's true. The fermentation thing makes um, antibiotics. I think we researched that. I should check and see what we're doing for research. I think we just finished that research. Not a while, not too long ago in the save. Oh, right, we were researching um, insect fats because we were learning about the, um, we were learning about the, um, how you make fuel, which was through fats and oils and things like that. Uh, there's a new Silent Hill reveal on October 19th at 2 p.m. Oh, really? They're announcing a new Silent Hill game? 25 minutes ago. Wow, you're right. The latest updates for the Silent Hill series will be revealed. Oh, that might not be a... Well, it could be a TV show. Who knows? It says series. But I, I think it'll be a game, but it could always be a uh, could always be a uh, Netflix series or something. Or a movie. There was a Silent Hill remember, movie. Welcome. I remember seeing the Silent Hill movie in theaters and thinking like, whoa. 
Hey, what's up, Lotus? Good to see the orange eye in the chat, man. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I think our people would be happier in, in their each individual. I wonder how it works. What is it? It must work when people are married. They must be okay to be in the same room together, right? But if there's a debuff for anybody moving in that room, it seems like it'd be beneficial just to build a room for everybody. But, I mean, honestly, you're not going to be able to please everybody in this game. You know, you're not pizza. You can't make everybody happy. So, I mean, if you got, like, a debuff of, like, negative 5 because there's too many people in a room or something, but everything else contributes positively to their life, it's just something they're going to have to live with. Like here, you know? Like, now he's hungry, so negative 9, but everything else is, like, way positive. Happiness is just continuing to rise. I think that's an expensive one, though, to give everybody else their own room. However, we can do it. Eventually, what we could do is make this room... We could put a stair, yeah. We could put a stairwell in this room that goes upstairs. Then we could build a bunch of separate rooms on the second floor, and then we could just use this room for storage. Like we could just put a bunch of clothing and other stuff in here, and then just keep this room for manufacturing and building. We also got to put a power line out there. Are you better? Oof, not good, but he's all right. Let's make a power pole that goes out to the, uh... I wonder how close this has to be. Oh, there. Okay, I see it. We can move this over... Over there. Okay. SJ, welcome aboard as a raptor egg. Oh, boy. Yeah, they'll probably need a fermentation tank to make the antibiotics for the pneumonia. I mean, they will. We just need to... We, we might not be able to make some of these things, though. Like, it turns grain into alcoholic beverages or antibiotics. The trouble with the fermentation tank, though, is that it takes up a lot of space. Like, it needs it needs to be clear on all sides. I wonder if, if we could put it here. Oh, actually, maybe it doesn't have to be clear on all sides. Just one. I hope somebody can walk by here, though, and get to this box. If not, we could put the box over here, maybe, between the two shelves. No, probably not. I oh, will figure it out. Worst case scenario, we'll take those things away. Or we'll put, we'll put storage, like, just in generic parts of the house. Like, there's no reason we can't just put, like, a, a box up here or something. All right, research is going. Well, we're heading into winter now. It'd be really cool is if we could build, like, an electrified fence. Or something that would, like... We could build a metal fence, which would be pretty tough, but then also to be able to electrify it would be pretty cool. Hey, what's up, Tan? Are we winning? I think so. Not died to death yet. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Quinn is now intellect level 7. That's related to research, right? I think so. Oh yeah, because we just finished some research. We're just trying to knock out all the easy research too, because I don't know what will be most important. Electric smelting, we'll do that later. Pickling, we'll work on that for next year. Um, 
Let's do electronics, then we can do diesel generators. We should be able to get fuel soon, too. And we'll do the armor, actually. Oh, we are. Ooh. Laser pistols just require, like, CPU cores and such. Neat. Yeah. 800 years in the future and penicillin is still strong. And penicillin just hits different. We have three open spaces here. I feel like the scrap would not go bad just sitting outside. I feel like we could just put the scrap next to the, uh, the smelters. Also, we should make these permanently. Actually, we're getting quite a bit of metal alloy. I'll just leave them there just in case we need to make more. Kind of just getting the base started. Alright, let's do another window there. chill stream after all the ghost bussing we did yeah ghostbusters was a hell of a lot of fun the couple of streams on the ghostbusters game that comes out next week already on the channel and it was amazing it was really really fun uh they did a good job with that one and same with warhammer uh 40k dark tide very fun very much what you want you know it's like oh is this that type of game oh yeah it is awesome it's fish taco time nice nicole nice Nice. Yeah, War Warhammer 40k was fun, yeah. But so was bussing on them ghosts. Speaking of bussing, I wonder when we're going to get attacked by these creatures up here. Oh, they don't attack these big boys. Oh, they know better. Wait, what, what did he just attack? I think he just tried to attack one of the birds. You think the graphics are pleasing to the eye? Yeah, the world a little bit reminds me of, like, maybe Subnautica a little bit. I, it doesn't look like that, but it just reminds me of it. But the buildings really remind me of Icarus. I liked building with the guys in Icarus, but it was like, it was always such a, it was painful at a certain point, especially the bears. All right, does everybody have a coat on? We need to make six, five, five coats. Coat, good. Coat. Nothing at all. Holy crap, Quinn. How did you not get sick? Spaceship jacket and another coat. Alright. So we just need one more coat to be made. Which we are... Not making. In stock zero. Who's Is somebody wearing two coats or did one go bad? Coat, coat... Oh, space suit. Now let's make another in stock zero. I don't know what happened. We should make a couple of spares though. We might get more people and or Oh good, Simon is no longer no longer has pneumonia. Quinn has a little bit of a pneumonia. Can too. All right. Well, make sure they got some jackets, and then we'll start making some nice pants. What do we make? For, what do we need? Fabric? I think it's just cloth scraps. Oh, we can extract animal fats from here. Okay. Oh, we can also make cloth from the hay. Okay. Uh, just do it forever. For a while.
Your brother's running this game on a five-year-old laptop? Okay, well that's pretty promising then for its performance. Always nice when more and more people can make, uh... Or can play games on less and less performance. Nice. Oh, can we make a wall between the beds to make different rooms? I guess we could, but there's like a window and a few things in the way, but... We'll do that eventually. They sleep through most of the night. Oh, neat. It actually identifies this room as a barracks. That's cool. It identified that just because of the uh, the beds and stuff. Oh, yeah, and this is the dining room because of the kitchen stuff. That's storage, but kind of part crafting, too. Same with this room. Uh, oh, it doesn't say anything about that room. That's cool, though. It auto-detects. Did I ever cure the sleep parasites? I don't think so. What do we need to do that? Para uh, do we need uh, penicillin or something? I didn't even really know what that was or how to cure it. If we're going to make penicillin, though, I probably have to do it next year because I don't think we're going to have enough grain. I would rather make food for it first. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't think there's anything you can do to prevent the parasites. I think they just get it if they have to sleep on the ground, which is kind of unavoidable for the first thing. Yeah, we we researched antibiotics, but we need to we need more grain to make it. But winter's coming, and it's our first year, and I didn't I didn't make any yet. We'll have to make it next year. Skull, thanks for the twenty, bruh. Damn, Chad, thanks for the support. Whoa, thank Always you. Always playing good games. This is a good one. This is a surprise. I'm happy that this was uh, a game that I was like, eh, and then it was like, ooh. Yeah, from eh to ooh. Yeah, we could go get... No, I don't want to cut those. You missed the French accent stream labs? I could change it to that, but what's in it for me? Maybe we could take a poll. But chat would want to have to put up with it. I'm going to cut down a few more trees so we can get winter logs for the fireplace. Mostly we're using electricity. I don't even really need to use this anymore. But literally, literally five sticks will last for an entire day. That's like nothing. Oh, they didn't close the windows here. If you also like, uh, if you guys remember the game uh, Going Medieval, this game is kind of similar to that too. Although we can't terraform the land from what I've seen so far. In that game, you can like dig down and mine like by literally digging the earth out. But in this one, you can't. I don't think you can do that. But you can build on the cliff sides, which is pretty cool with like elevated platforms. Which I found to be quite cool. Oh boy, now it's literally freezing outside. Really, we have this vent here. And it's zero inside? Really? I guess we'll have to put another heater over here or something. Um, it's cold inside, but not, not bad. For it being zero outside, 15C, at least in the bedroom, is pretty good. Oh yeah, three inside, yeah. What 
are we making for food? Veggie soup. Uh, I think it's a lower priority, so the, the, I think they're only going to cook if it needs to be done, because I, I think we have a quota set for these. Oh, no, no. Let's just set until five, then. We'll just set these all to five. Since there's five people, we'll just make it so there's always five of each food type. I also feel like some of these meals are small enough to where people will come back and, like, eat multiple meals. Or they, they might eat breakfast and then they might eat dinner. Wait, let's get back to it. Five, five, five... All right, we're good. Very nice house. That's a good start, you know. Pretty good start. Is this chat not very friendly to new people? No, not at all. No, if you if you say hi in this chat, there's no way that chat will even hold up a sign that says hi. They don't want to talk to nobody. Uh, I think the fireplace can maybe be cooked on. Not the heating stove, though, but... Unfriendly chat noises, yeah. What's up, Statue Epic? How you doing? Oh, silicon is under crafting materials, so smoke leaf... And silicon are under the same thing. I think I want to use more electricity. How are we doing with storage? Assumptions at 25. Oh, it's nighttime, so that's fine. What we probably could do is put another battery out here. Might be a good idea. Build another battery storage back by the shed, and then we'll, um... Store more power and then be able to use more at night. And I probably will make another heater. This room. Oh, we could put electric heater in the corner. Probably by the door. There's not like really any heat over there. We got the stove kind of in the middle. And I was hoping that it would go through the vent into the rooms. And I think it works, but... Yeah. <laughs> Tan is unfriendly to those who try to steal the secret of the Zanya. It's a French dish. You guys may have heard of it. It's called Le Lasagna. Ken's coming inside to play the didgeridoo. Woo -loo -loo. All right, Ken. What's up, Pilot Pro? Did we make enough clothing yet? Nope, not yet. I think we're waiting to make fabric to make another jacket. Actually, we're just waiting for somebody to craft it. They'll probably make it today. Lots of things to do. Lots of things to do. Uh, we can make bricks. 
wine making. Yeah, now we gotta make oils and fats too. What is this? Oh, completed? Yeah. So we're gonna have to extract fat and then start making oil out of it, and then we can refine it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, this building? This building's just for, like, crafting. It's like a, a little storage room for, like, fabrics and things like that, and then we can... Well, actually, we, we can store, like, hay in here, then we can turn it into fabric, and then it gets brought over to here, the crafting station, where we're making jackets for everybody. The winter. Once we're done with that, then we're going to start making, like, uh, nice high-quality pants for winter, too. Have we built a wedding arch yet? Uh, no, I don't even know... I'm assuming what will probably happen is there'll probably be an event that pops up when they... Now that they're engaged, it'll probably say something like, Oh, they want to get married in a month or something. Let's celebrate. We'll probably have to have a certain number of food or like a wedding arch up or something. Did I crash my crew into another world? Well, this is the same one from last time, but yes. Wow, that's a massive building. Whoa. Yeah, we can put up the arch for them to get married. Yep. Bum, bum, bum. We'll do that in the spring. Weird. It's like one of the first things you can build. Like, hey, let's build a storage area, a shelter, and a wedding arch. Uh, there was a, a bug attack at the start of the stream. Oh, there we go. I love the look of things in this game. The way things are nicely organized looks nice. Uh, let's go to defense. Ah, nice. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's too wide. Well, what we could do, actually, you know be cool, is for our main gate, we could do like a little, you know, we could like make a little L shape, so they'd have to kind of go through this way. Oh, cool, it shows our power together. Oh, yeah. So now it shows 2,000. Yep. Oh, we better make another uh, wind turbine then. I suppose power could be wired through the house to the other side. Yeah. Another power contributor right there. And we'll probably build another solar panel later. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, yeah, we made a little tutorial. There's uh, tutorials in the game. I think there's like six of them. 
It does show the combat in a few other things. So if you want to take a look at that first video, it goes over all the basics of like how to gather materials, how to build walls, how to build turrets, how to set up power, that kind of thing. And there's some really good tutorials too. Like they're not... I'll be honest, tutorials are kind of boring and they're the last thing I really want to do. Like they're the last thing I kind of want to like get into. It's nice when they integrate it into the game itself, but... What's nice about the tutorials in this game is they kind of already give you a pre-built base and then show you kind of how to run it a little bit rather than just starting from scratch, which would take way too long. Honestly, the uh, the tutorials last like um, maybe like 15 minutes each at the most, so within an hour you'll be good to go. That'll be cool. Bum, bum, bum. And we're going to build another... What is, what's it cost to build these windmills? Oh, it's just one electronics and 25 alloy. Okay, that's pretty affordable. Um, and there's some more spaceship stuff around here somewhere. Oh yeah, right here. Well, we'll deal with that next year. Yep, a lot of people have been mentioning this is a 3D room world. That's what they say. That doesn't look like it's going to touch. And we'll try to move this over one. Actually, wait a minute. If I move this over two... Oh, it's because that's already there. Okay. We'll move that one first. Nice. You're watching the first part of the stream? Awesome. Thank you very much for your support. Thanks for watching. Oh, good. More clothing is ready. Everybody have a coat now, finally? Now they do. All right, everyone will have a coat. Hey, there he goes. Nice. Good for you, man. Yay. All right, let's make some pantalones now. Uh, so... Ooh, a hat. Uh, thermal pants. Ooh, that's going to be spendy. Um, I think we'll just make it so we've got... Actually, you know what? Just put that on pause. Uh, no queue to research. Okay. I'll pick uh, synthetic armor, pick, pickling, brewing, veggie armor, and bricks. For now. Uh, I got my fifth person randomly, like, on the first... <laughs> within, like, the first ten minutes of me playing, I got the fifth person. They just randomly came into the camp. Alright. Jalela, yeah.
Start with small projects at a time. We are now into winter, boys. It begins. Oh, the characters? Yeah, you, actually, every, everything in this game you can move off the screen if you want to. But this makes it way easier to be able to, like, see at a glance, like, who's doing what. If they're equipped with a weapon, you can hover over them to see what their mood is or what their health is. It's a really good way to keep in track on stuff without worrying about it too much. But that is part of our day one tutorial video. That's on the channel. Pretty nice. And also, like, for items in the game, like, you can... If you don't want to... If you want to see what you've got without really going too far into the inventory... Well, let's say you have an area where you store all your logs and you're wondering how full it is. You can just turn this on and just count, like, oh, I've got, like, five stacks of ten or something like that. It's a really easy way to take a tally of stuff without really going into a menu. Which is nice. The less time that you're in a menu, the more it feels like you're kind of playing the game and not just managing things. Okay, let's build a fortification like this. Bum, bum. Burnout, but well fed. Oh, they're having a fight, that's why. It happens. What's up, Cosman? How you doing, dude? Yeah, I want to eventually do our uh, long distance travel. That's going to require us to do fuel first. To which we're going to need to build a, probably another... What is it? The uh, extractor slash... Oil press. Oh. Oh. Bum, bum. Now, can we make some medicine? Wow, 50 grain. Jeez, that's super expensive. Can I just make one? New member, welcome. But we'll have to do farming next year and that'll be okay. Yeah, automated defense. One thing I've seen in this game too is uh, I've seen people not building gates and they've been building like choke points where there's a fence around the base and then there's like an elevated... I, I saw in the game screenshots. The uh, developers m built like an elevated like foundation and then there's like a ramp that leads to it. So the enemies or whoever comes into the camp has to go up onto a platform and there's guns pointing at it. So it's like a, a kill zone where if any enemies go into it, then they're just going to be shot at. So rather than them being able to attack a gate, it's like an open area with traps on it. So that's another way to do things. You have options in this game. That's cool. You can't, can't always do everything at once, but you got options. Cool. So we moved everything inside. You know, it'd be cool is if we could put solar panels on the house. Like to put this on top of the roof would save a ton of space, and it could go directly into the house rather than like. Well, you know, then you could have that feed back to a battery attached to the house, which would be cool. Alright, battery power is down to a thousand, but that's not bad. It's daytime now. Alright. Winter outside is negative C. 7C, I mean. You dead? Oh, yeah. Can do a little butchering. Yeah, 
Yeah, the, the roof, the roofing in this game is impressive. And in fact, uh, this is amazing, dude. <laughs> the roofs actually like kind of connect together. Like, it's not bad. I mean, for a game that's about survival, these it's hard in these games to make nice looking roofs. In a house builder, usually they look like trash, but this is actually like really nice. Like, I feel like this could just be a peaceful builder too. Even though there's like combat and defenses and stuff in this game, it would be nice to be able to build in a peaceful game too, just designing stuff, but where it was more about producing rather than just kind of like building and living. Like The Sims is kind of more about the characters now than the houses and stuff, but that's another level of fun though. All right, Ken should be a little happier now. He just got to slaughter something. Good for him. No, don't cut those harvest. Also, if an animal dies or whatnot due to combat from some other creature, you can always go harvest them later. Got to do what you got to do, brother. Amen. Amen. Tucker Hat. Tucker Hat in Project Zomboid and Tucker Hat in The Sims. Legend. A hero. Ladies love him. Can't get enough of him. Oh, we can build here. Nice. But I'm probably going to build back here so that way if anything attacks... We can shoot this way, or we can shoot in the middle. Uh, yeah, we have multiple ship sh sh uh, salvaging levels unlocked. We're fine. Right now we're just making a lot of clothing. Let's see how we're doing on wood. Let's cut down another tree. Or two. Hey, what's up, Rye? How you doing, man? Three snowmen out in front of the house now. An army. We don't need defenses. We have an army already guarding the house. So far, any of the enemies that have attacked us have been coming from this way, so... You're stoked for the expeditions? Yeah, we're gonna try. We're gonna see that for the first time. That'll be fun. Alright, we need more hay. Hey, Arnold! Burp, 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 burp. All right, what should we grow? Oh, you can grow bushes. Cool. Provide sticks, wood. Ah, we can grow trees. Nice. We'll probably grow a uh, grain cob next year so we can do a uh, bunch of uh, antibiotics. Hopefully medicine doesn't go bad. And if it does, hopefully not quickly. Let's keep building on to the defenses. Ooh, that's 200 wood there. Okay. Well, let's take up maybe 100. So it must be 10 per square. Seems like winter is the longest season. Uh... Well, summer is pretty long too, but winter, yeah, will feel long. Chat, I do think that this is another game where more wood is needed. More wood is needed. Yep, that's right.
Another one. We'll cut down a few trees. Keep building our defenses. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Donna Man feels, yeah. Well, that's what I was saying, like, the defend building the defenses kind of reminds me of Donna Man. It's a good game that's a, a fun mix of a few different things. Good. Fun. Oh, wind picked up. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Windmills are flying. Good thing we built a couple batteries. Oh, floodlight. Cool, we could like surround our base with like tons of lighting. Wait a minute. If we connect the floodlight here next to the solar battle, oh, perfect. Unlimited power. The Palpatine plan. Excellent. Yep, let's connect the uh, light to the solar array to the battery, and boom. We got it. Yeah, electric fences would be cool. I would like some more um, left uh, seven days to die level defenses of, like, I don't know, hedgehogs or, like, a barbed wire or something. That'd be kind of cool. Minefield. We do have, like, bear traps, I think, right? And I think I think I've seen mines too like you can make explosive traps They're practicing their shots Oh my look at the snowmen Any more Oh they look like deer Oh, Ken, Ken got real mad. He destroyed that target. Now, you know what would be neat in this game is if we could if we could make a big grain cob field. Grain lasts for quite some time, so if grain in this game works like it would in real life, it'd be cool to have a silo to actually store all the grain and then turn it into flour later on, but... Maybe we could build this Spanish stove, the El Cook stove. Maybe it'll cook faster. Are there Burt turrets? Yeah, there are machine gun turrets. Yep, there's flamethrowers and uh, flamethrowers and machine gun. I don't. There could be more. We'll see. But uh, yeah, we're going to go on an expedition soon. We just need to research it. Actually, we need to get fuel. And that's going to require um, an oil press to make grain into oil. Or there's something, there's something else we can do. We need to get animal... We need to kill animals to get animal fat to turn that into a fuel. And we'll put that back here. Bum, 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 bum.
Oh, we need hay again. Is there a light in the storage shed? Yep. I put one inside and out. Don't really need to, but it kind of looks nice. Also, these torches require uh, wood as well. Let's get rid of these now. And we'll switch to... Uh, we'll still keep a wooden stove and our wooden... Stove tops and things like that, but... We'll switch to electric. I think we got a good, pretty good management of power. Yeah, we're producing 60, yeah. Yeah, we got a plus 14 on power, yeah. It'd be really cool to be able to build, like, a power room. But I don't want to build, like, four different sheds for four different things, you know. Uh, can we craft transportation devices? Oh, like wheelbarrows and carts? I don't think so. I haven't seen that, at least. Not yet. Now, right now, I only have two people with ranged weapons, so we'll build towers later when we have some more weapons. Everybody else has spears, so we'll put two people in the tower and then have everybody else go out and attack stuff with spears. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, brother, yeah, amen. Has anyone played this using a controller? Ooh, good question. I guess you could, if this is on Steam Deck, this is kind of just a Steam Deck game then. I mean, you know, it would be a controller game if it worked on Steam Deck. Yeah, our people still have sleep par uh, parasites. What we're going to do is this. Next spring, we're going to start uh, farming, and then we're going to make grain, and they w we will see if we can um, make antibiotics out of it. We'll see if the antibiotics cure them of the sleep parasites, and then prepare for pneumonia too. All right, CPU core research. I've read how CPU cores are produced. I think it should be possible to research them without a sample. You didn't remember this earlier. Unlock CPU assembly with decreased research time. Oh, this is cool. So you can get a bonus research thingy. All right, how are we doing on that? Make CPU assembly. Oh, that's nice. All right, now we can make CPUs. Hell yeah. 25 silicon, five metal equals one CPU. Nice. And to get silicon, we can either build, we can make those flowers, or we can mine it from like down here somewhere. One of these rocks down here had it. The music is nice, too. All right. Everybody's slipping. Uh, oh, we finished researching brewery. Yo, Jeff, thanks for the 21 months, dude, as a member. 
Thanks for being a member for 21 months. Wow. Yeah, it looks like we'll be able to craft the plasma weapons later. Or at least lasers to start. Remember, welcome. Sued. Looks like we can get sniper rifles and things too, we've seen. Let's explore. Soon. We'll make a uh, exploration balloon soon. Wow, look at all the snowmans. Some of the furniture objects remind you of Evil Genius. Really? Hmm. I like Evil Genius for how the uh, how the rooms actually work in that game. How you can zone a room and then put stuff into it. I just like how it works in that sense. So we're going to do farming like down here. Keep making the defenses down there. Wow, we're researching a lot of stuff quickly. Distillation there. Wine making. E. Fancy. Yeah, these people love their snowmen. Everybody's made of snowmans. Or more. Oh, that fridge. What? Oh. oh, must be haunted. Okay, so that pot is haunted. Yeah, food will last for a little while. The green scorpion looking beasts are OP. These things? Oh. I don't know.
Yep, indeed more wood is needed. Some things never change. Now we're researching a ton of stuff. Yeah, we're knocking out research left and right. And now it's sleepy time. Mm. Hey, what's up, Technically Jack? Good morning. Okay, I hope we can eventually make, like, concrete walls and stuff. I've seen some, like, nanocarbon walls and stuff, too. Some really weird-looking stuff, but good. How's planetary survival coming along? Well, nobody's died to death just yet. But we'll see. But mostly I'm trying to just kind of figure out what the rest of the game is like. So... We will see. We shall see. Plus eighteen, plus twenty six. Wow. Batteries are full. How much to make another one? I may as well make another another battery. Can you grow alien corns in the winter? I don't know. It looks like the plants stayed around for quite a while. It looks like the plant will stay around, but it won't... Um, looks like it won't generate a harvest. So you can grow the crop, but you won't be able to harvest it probably till maybe spring through fall. Can you have more than five people? I'm not sure. Okay, I want to, when we can, we're going to harvest more hay and we need more logs. Luckily, we're logging, so it just takes time. Ooh, now we've created thermal pants. Good. Give Ken the thermal pants. Hmm. Now I wonder for farming. If there's a way we can get hay. No, nope, we'll just have to get that randomly from grass.
Yeah, I like the fact that we get refrigerators and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I hope this game has it, though, where, like, um, you know, grain lasts a lot longer than, like, let's say berries. Like it would in real life, you know? You harvest a bunch of corn and put that in a basket versus berries, and obviously the berries aren't going to last as long. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that's convenient. Let's go uh, salvage that too while we're at it. Could try to observe some more stuff around us. Mm, we'll do it in the spring. On uh, this game, it's a survival colony. Uh, essentially, what has happened is, if you remember what happens in um, Subnautica, there's like a giant ship that's above this planet, or a moon of this planet, and it's an Earth-like moon or planet, and so the ship, your ship that's like going through to some other area suffers like a mechanical failure with the hyperdrive or something like that and self-destructs. You basically like eject from that ship into a, a shuttle and then our shuttle was here but we salvaged it in order to get a bunch of microchips and other things like that. And then the goal is to try to escape somehow. We haven't gotten that far just yet. But we're experiencing things for the first time so pretty fun. You wish you could stop people from eating rotten food in this game? You should be able to, right? Huh. Oh, they should put that in then. Yeah, we'll play more Dredge in the future. Make sure you're subscribed and uh, turn on the notification bell to know when it goes live. Oh, we were. Oh, do we? Oh, we scavenged boots from that crash. Awesome! I didn't know. Didn't know you could get that from that type of salvage. Awesome. Ooh, a new insect nest. Oh, those things are going to keep spreading. Yeah, everybody that's um, that you spawn with is kind of a pre-made character in the game, but they, some of them know each other either. They're like their family, like brother, sister, or grandma, uh, granddaughter, or you know, brother, son, or what. what you know, however, they link together, or they know each other, or they were like. They worked with each other, something like that. There's some interesting mechanics that they know each other somehow before, like, the crash. And they all have different backgrounds, like security officer or cyborg or musician. Hope they had more. Subnautica in VR is great. Oh, really? I didn't. I never even thought about playing that game in VR. That sounds scary. Oh, 
Oh, is that another? Oh, they're sleeping. Hopefully overhunting is not a thing in this game. There we go. This is an open world Sims. Yeah, I mean, the, the amount of areas that you can build in here are pretty damn insane. Like, the map is pretty... If you remember Donna Man, it's... Pretty close to that. We can like build all the way from over here. Like this is one edge of the map. This is another corner. And then most of this lake down here. So if we want to, we can make multiple bases or, you know, when you first crash, you could just completely abandon your shuttle and go build somewhere else. But all these areas could be fortified too. Like we could build up here on top of this like, I don't know, dormant volcano or something like that. And you could build a base up on top of there. Elevation is kind of important in this game too, because one thing I imagine is if you built a turret, like if, if you built a wall down here, a really tall wall, and then you built a turret up high, the turret should be able to shoot over the wall. Maybe not down, but anything that's level with the ground, you know, before like a slope where the the fence may be to stop it, they could shoot at. Well, it's gonna be a long winter. Okay, so we've got... Food should be okay later today. I think someone will do some cooking. And we've researched CPU assembly. So now we can make more CPUs. Pretty simple recipe of just silicon and steel. Yep, this is in-game music. All right, defense. We can make laser pistols, pulse rifles, laser pikes, railgun snipers, incendiary traps, flamethrowers, and automated gun turrets. Oh, oh, and it can also... We can also build a laser turret, a machine gun turret, and a missile launcher turret. Flamethrower is going to take some fuel, though. Still need to somehow unlock power cells. Hmm. Tea, coffee. Well, let's do smelting now. We'll smelt a little bit more. Uh, the indigenous flora and poss well, f maybe flora, but fauna will attack. That's why we're building defenses, creatures like these. Like a scorpion death spider or something. But we'll see what happens. We're playing for the... Kind of our first playthrough still, so we're just learning. We're unlocking a great amount of research. This is awesome. Yeah, we can actually make uh, moonshine or, like, alcohol from... Uh, the these things here kind of create, like, a sweet syrup or a sap and... We can either eat that, or we can smelt it down. It's like a sugary substance, so we can basically make a liquor out of it. Nice, so we're doing more power. Yeah, I don't think we can tame wildlife yet. I haven't seen an option, but we'll find out as we do our playthrough what we can do. 
And of course, this is just early access, so things can be added and feedback can be given. Yeah, it would be cool if we could actually do animal husbandry, though. I would like for some sort of small bird that resembled chickens, but... Alright, let's work out making some vittles. We'll go hunting and make some food. Hunter without ranged weapon. Who's doing our hunting? Ken and Simon should be able to do that. We'll make that a priority. And we can always make more clothing out of this too. These are juveniles, but they'll be a little less dangerous to hunt, I suppose. Could attack. There's a chance of that. These guys provide hides, so we need them. Simon's going to sleep. He'll get it tomorrow. Oh, Jayla's sad. Sag. Nice thing, too, is that when we, um... When we actually like build heaters into this room, we can move them later on when we redesign the rooms, which we should definitely do. You know how it is in these games, though. You just start to get things done and then start reorganizing once you got more research done. You want me to research pizza rolls? Chat can do that. Chat's conducting research right now. I can see it right now. They're in that little bush. Eating their pizza rolls. A pizza to roll. <laughs> oh, yes. Tomorrow everybody's going to have to focus on butchering that hunt and then going cooking that food. We'll be able to go and go, go and get it. Nice. Alright, so we'll bring meat back, we'll bring hides back, and we got some food.
Uh, what's the name of the starting guide for this game? Um, it should be a shorter video on the channel. If you go back a couple of days, it should be... Uh, there's a stream that's like four or so hours, and then there's a video that's a little shorter. I think the video was dropped after one of the streams, so check that out. I go through a lot of the tutorials, and it makes things a little easier to understand before you play yourself, maybe. Just discovering some things together. All right, we got some animals that are going to attack now. Looks like a group of five flyboys, which is good, because that means they'll provide meat when we kill them to death. How do you get more people? I just ran. I started with four people, and then um, Jayla here showed up randomly, like on day two or something like that. Like it was pretty quick. But apparently, they come in randomly. So I love how we can harvest logs too, just laying on the ground. Is there enough hours worth of content to justify the price? I think so. Just based on like what's here currently. I mean, it's fun. Um, and I think every game is always the same, where when you when you first start, you don't know really what you're doing as much, and you kind of just stumble through certain things, and you have a good time. But it's like your second and third playthroughs, where when you understand more of a game, it becomes more fun, because then you can kind of play it to its fullest. You know, like, every time you play City Skylines, you just get better at laying out roads and mixed zoning, that type of thing, so... With a game like this, I think the more you play it, you know what to prioritize, what research is like the most beneficial for however you've set things up, so. Yeah, it's it's like, how many hours did you put into other games that are like this? Like, it's got, this got like a little prison architect in it, a little going medieval in it, a little Donna Man, a little Rimworld. If you're into these types of games, these games are going to be, um, you'll love this a lot. Yep, Poglad, we just, uh, cereal coffee researched. 20, <laughs> wow. 20 grains equal 5 coffee. Poglad. Did we build a turret? No. Not yet. Alright, let's get the boys in the turrets. God, it's like Starship Troopers. Dude, our guys are such good shots. Wow, that... These Ken alone could have taken down those critters. Good job, everybody. Back to work, then. What year is this supposed to be taking place in? The future. Their spaceship looks like it's a couple hundred years in the future, but... Nothing too crazy. Well, that was nice. The flying bugs are not too hard to deal with, but they can go over your fences, so... Alright, so what about farm fields? What should we do for that? I think we want to start with grain cob. Cob. Let's do like a 10 by 10? Maybe we'll start with an 8x8. Eight 80% eight. growth. That's good. Oh, soft silt. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's soil types in this game. So this one's a silty soil. Nice. I'm assuming in the future of the game, too, that there could be, like, desert biomes or more frozen biomes that you can land on. So maybe there'll be different plants and different seasons to grow them in. All right, let's also grow... Mm, silicon will be easy to come by for the start. Sweetening of meals during cooking. We can also grow trees, which means that we can farm woods. That's good. Can these crops be grown in the snow? I don't think so, but I'm just gonna I'm just laying out the field to start with.
Oh, that's weird. These have to be built in an odd number. But I guess that's because that's the size of the plant. That's cool. Do we have to do a 9x9? Nine nine? Yeah. We have 507 logs now. Excellent. this area too. Actually, I think our ship crashed here, yeah. Alright, everybody's sleeping for now. They're doing a little slipping. A little slip and slide. Can I make rows? I don't think so. I, I think the field type rules are locked to what type of plant it is. Some of them are like, some of them are really big, like tree-like things. I don't know if they're still growing in the winter, but yeah. Some of the things that we can grow look like this. They have a really thick skin that can be like used as a, like a leather. Oh, now the room is 12 degrees Celsius. I think it was before, though. Burnout, huh? Uh, we'll give you guys a two-hour midday break a little bit. Is the snow safe to convert to water? Well, I haven't seen water usage in this game at all. No wells and no... having to gather it or anything. building more fortifications now. Scavenged 117 um, scrap metal off that bad boy. Get those smelters fired up then. We could use the electric ones, couldn't we? Uh, did we finish the research, though? Yeah, we did. Oh, wait. <clears throat> oh, this will turn the ore and the scrap into... Oh, it does both, yeah. Hmm. That's 30, though. Yeah, those bugs will actually... Uh... Glad you reminded me to butcher those. 
The other bugs will like fly off with stuff if you leave it out. Sort of a bird there. Vulture. These look nice. We'll keep those smelting until the electric ones are done and then we'll switch over. Those red birds are timid. You think this looks like The Sims? I get those vibes too. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's just how the rooms are laid out or something. There was a lot of thought put into how uh, building works in this game. I mean, the, even the house itself looks great. Look at this. I, it looks like a starter house in The Sims. We can also build multiple stories so we can build the second floor onto this. I would love to build a basement, though. It would be nice to be able to dig things out. And that would be cool, because then you could build, like, a moat or something, or, like, a pit around your your fences, and then the enemy would have to, like... Well, you could basically block them out completely. Yeah, a root cellar for sto um, preventing spoilage, yeah. Good idea. Power cell research. I've dabbled in some advanced DIY and I have a vague memory of how power cells are made. It should be possible to research them without a sample. And you did, and you waited this long to tell. I think he's coming up with all the ideas because we had him do enough research to where now he's like intelligence level 7 or 8. So now he's unlocking research before we should be able to get it. That's actually really cool. So now we can research advanced power cells. Which is 30 metal plus 2 chips. That's awesome. So his high level... Has helped us to get more research. Alright, we should probably make some... Um, some microchips then. How do we do that? Smokey, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. It must be the soldering bench. That's it. Cool. All right, so now we can make CPUs, then we can make power cells, then we can make more guns. Better defense for everybody. Those pistols are not too bad. They don't do a lot of damage, but... New member, welcome. Yeah, green eyes in the chat, show them some love. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, Holly? Good to see you. And Tom, thanks for dropping a little gift bomb in the chat. Thank you very much, dude. Very nice. Yeah. Do we plan to put everyone in their own room? Yeah, this was kind of just a starter house. Now that I know that they kind of want their own privacy, we could build a second floor to the house eventually. Thanks, Dustin. But let's first build a uh, wall around the house and then a farm.
pesky garden gnome. Thank you very much for the five bomb in the chat, too. Oh, boy. The member train has left the station. It's coming. Another member bomb. Thank you very, very much. That's very nice of you. Wow. And uh, also, happy uh, Sunday night to all of you. I hope you all had a great weekend. Let's go ahead and build it out to about maybe here. How big? Uh, the map is. I. You know, actually, you don't. You don't get to pick the size of the map. I don't think. So the map is pretty big by default. Maybe that's something they'll uh, increase in the future is the map size, even though it's already massive. It's like in Donna Man, they make a massive map, but you don't even have to like make it that big. But it is cool that it's like a pretty big map. Yeah, all right, we're keeping just alive with the meat soups that we're able to make from the Ulfen. Go hunt this boy. The Glutch. And wants to do some hunting, I bet. We'll put it on the menu. We need to uh, hunt some more of these because we need the hides for clothing. Do they have an NVIDIA 4090 to heat the house? Uh, yes. We, uh, in order to cool the house, it's a w winter time and we just leave the refrigerator doors open. Yeah, graphics cards are getting the size of a damn uh, air conditioning unit, aren't they? At this point, you'll just be able to... You won't have to put a GPU inside your PC. You'll just hang it out the window. Like an AC unit wired to your window. Like, I thought the power supply units on computers used to be the biggest thing, but... Graphics cards are getting like... Like you can't even see a motherboard anymore. Motherboard's like the size of a postage stamp and the GPU is like a tractor trailer size. Bum bum. Oh, we can do concrete rooms now, too. Oh, that's the end of our research until we probably get a few other things done. Um, there are orders to do trees, yeah. We covered that in our video that I'm sure you all saw on day one. Right, chat? All of you saw our tutorial video where we covered all this stuff and all the tutorials, right? Pretty sure. The reason why I like doing them one by one is because some of the trees can be smaller or not fully grown. The fully grown size of some of these trees are 30. Sometimes they're 20, so I'll leave them alone. Ooh, damn. He got 39... Oh, this is good. Now we can make insect fat out of that. I forgot. I think we can only do that for the insects. Let's see. Yeah. We need cloth, too, to do that? I guess that makes sense. All right, let's make a bunch of oils now. We're going to be killing a few more of those buggy boys. Oh boy, this is how we're all going to look on Thanksgiving. Who wants more pie? <laughs> no.
No, Grandma. I've already had six. Oh, come on. Just one more slice. Oh, good. Yeah, we got plenty of food. Most of our food is raw and it's in the refrigerator, so they're just cooking it when they need it. How are we doing on pants? Thermal... Thermal pants zero. Freezer is as big as a fridge. animal fats here. Oh yeah. Right, I think we can get rid of one of these stoves now. I will right, we'll deconstruct that stove and put a freezer there. And then we'll build the nicer stove. Actually, let's get rid of both these. We'll just start using the electric. That's fine. We'll upgrade all of our stuff to electric as much as we can. Some things still need to be done by hand, but... It's all good. Man. And we need the walls to be constructed, too. next couple years we'll build another floor onto the house and we'll probably do research upstairs because it's rather quiet as well as uh, the how the uh, beds and such so the wardrobe the beds and the research can all be on the second floor nice all right let's put down a freezer And our L stove. How does this game compare to this war of mine? 
Well, if you like managing a group of people and their food and supplies and things like that, this is in that same wheelhouse, but it is much more something different than that. But if you like that type of game, you might be interested in this. This definitely could be a game to you might really be interested in. Bah, bah, bah. Hey, 16 months is a Raptor Ultimate. Thanks, uh, Rad Rad Boys. New member, welcome. Bad Rad Boys with the uh, 16 months. Glad you're uh, growing your channel. Congratulations. Oh, this guy's carrying 65 logs? Or Jayla is, wow. Absolute champion. What does this thing need? Oh, got everything it needs. Someone just needs to build it. So we're upgrading the kitchen. We're building our soldering desk, so we'll get microchips. I just gotta wait for people to do do the thing now. Power is good. For now. And let's make this a higher priority. You can build higher foundations, but not multi-level rooms. Okay. That does explain the stairs, because then you'd be able to build a platform higher up. If not, we can always build, like, a separate, um... You know, we can build a separate sleeping quarters or something. Have two houses. Build a little guest house with just beds in it, and then split the group up a little bit. But honestly, it, the the debuff of people having to sleep together and n making a little bit of noise is not too bad. The biggest thing is trying to make antibiotics to get rid of this uh, sleep parasite everybody has. At least to try it. Yeah, individual cabins. That's so lavish. Like, oh, we're stranded, but I want I want the uh, you know the suite at the Ritz. I want the penthouse suite. Like, right? We can barely even find food. Well, we could build, like, another house up here. Or find a better way or a more efficient way to separate these uh, rooms. But this seems more efficient because now this room's 23 degrees Celsius. It has a few beds in it. It's a way more effective use of space heating and electricity. I think these people want to, like, be at a ski lodge. It's fine for now, though. You know, maybe there'll be beds that um, get a better night's sleep or something for them. Yeah, we have guard towers down by the gate. So we might have options for better beds. Nah, they're all the same. Just different materials.
Yeah, when the wall is complete, it's more likely that we're going to need to go, let's just call this west and south. Like to the north, there's some pretty dangerous, to the east and north, there's some pretty dangerous bugs. Oh, you built your fence so big that attackers spawned inside the fence. Really? Hopefully they bring that meat in by tomorrow. Oh, now we can queue meals up here. Okay, let's do... Oh, hot drinks. Cool. We can also make breads too, that's gonna be nice. Alright, so we'll be able to make a bunch of meat stew today. Who's our best chef? Laura and Simon, okay. <laughs> the animations really remind me of The Sims for that cooking. Okay. Alright, so food's coming in, good. And then we need to make some microchips, let's do that. Make five of those. Yeah, once we built the uh, fortified position, we'll uh, get everybody working on the house on making more stuff. We'll go a couple of years before we build like another house and work more on the sleeping quarters. Make sure to build defenses and things we can use. All right, good. Now we got six meals. Food is good. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, Andrew, pretty cool. Oh, we need to get a power line out to the... F now let's scoot him over one.
Totally fine. Okay. Wow, a solar panel is just 10 scrap metal and 2 electronics? Wow. Build that too. Nope. <sighs> Spaceship debris falls from time to time, which is a good way to get metal and microchips. Which is nice. Bum, 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 bum. You're having fun, are you in? Chat having fun? That's a good question, chat. One's in the chat if you're having a good time. A mandatory, regulated, good time. Yeah, y'all having a good time? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, one in the chat and give yourself a shout out. Good to see you all here. Good. Good to have you all here. Hey, Squeezel. Thanks for the gift bomb in the chat. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm having a good time. Uh, yeah, we'll get more... I think we can get more people. I mean, we did earlier, so there's a chance. Oh, we're getting to the end of winter. Spring is almost sprung. Made it through mostly by hunting. Wait, does this draw power even when it's not on? On batteries, negative 56. Wait, waiting to be turned off. Oh, no. I hope the electric stove doesn't actually consume power until it's on. Like, the refrigerators and the freezers would always have to be on, but... Not the, uh... Not the stove. Yeah, it's a good game. So far, it's pretty good. We're still discovering some things, like uh, how to make medicine and a few other things, but we're getting there. The path is clear. Now we just need to acquire the materials. Also, how do we build a gate if we already built a wall? Oh, just like that. Cool. So we can just throw it in wherever. Nice. Yeah, that's true. We had snowfall in Minnesota recently. Yep. True. Very true. The snow did fall. New Year's Eve, are we going to have a party? 
Uh, let's see. One year ends, another begins. We do not know what tomorrow will bring, but the turn of time does give hope. All right, go ahead. You kind of wish State of Decay 2 had building like this? Yeah. Game's fun. Yeah, I think we'll try to build up here to this and make it a square. Flat back corner, maybe? some research we did we've researched pretty much everything we can now well except for the automated research desk actually I don't even want to do that well I want to do the long distance travel so we got to we got to focus more on making fuel so we can unlock that research that's what I want to do most uh, yeah let's research research but let's more importantly In order to unlock the research we want, we gotta make some fuels. Oh, nice. He's sleeping. Cool. Oh yeah, the shiny mushrooms? Yeah, that'll give us um, medical benefits. And we can also make it as food, but far better as medical. It looks like farming happens automatically, too. We got a really good farmer with us. I think it's Laura. Yeah, avid farmer. Seeds and harvest twice as fast. Oh, it looks like rain gives us an increased growth rate, too. All right, so we're officially farming now. Litter caps there. And then let's do buttermelon. So with the buttermelon and the uh, grain, we should be able to make pie all year round. Oh, you can find fuel and scavenging in the ships too. Nice. We've done we've done a few of them. We haven't found fuel yet though. Let's keep uh, scavenging then. All right. Let's move this over. Turn these off. And honestly, we got plenty of metal. 469. I haven't even used that much of it, really. Buttermelon pie, you try it? Yeah. Well, it just takes a little bit of the grain cob to do. 
make like a a crust, I guess. Sounds good, bruh. All right, any other decent research? Oh, heat pumping, perfect. That'll help us a little bit more. Automated turrets. Do those three. How long till we need more storage? Um, well, we've got plenty of open space, so yeah, we're okay on that. Yeah, we lost power. That's uh, raining out, so it's and it's nighttime. Solar went offline. We'll make another wind turbine. I wonder if there's ways to research and make these more efficient. Or to put them up high and have them work better. I guess it's also because these are actually smelting uh, iron now, too. I really don't think these should use power, though, unless... Let's turn these off. Yeah, they really shouldn't use power unless they're actually on. Oh, we light off fireworks? Whoa. I thought it was lightning. Oh. Well, that's cool. We actually have made fireworks. Neat that we didn't have to do anything special for that, but that's cool. Nice. Pretty. All right, I guess the celebration's over now, Sag. Sag. could put these on different circuits as well. They'd still have to be moved, though. Would be kind of cool to build a, like, a monastery where you build, like, a, a building where it's a large square with something in the middle and you could put some stuff in the middle, too. But it takes a lot of materials to build a house, too, and a lot of time. Because then, first you have to mine all the materials, then store it. Then they have to deliver it all to the construction site, and then somebody has to build it. Wow, we made it through winter, though. Fantastic. Now we can get these batteries charged up again. We need to, uh... Get that fuel research so we can do a diesel generator as a backup.
All right, a little more storage, a little more production. And someone should be able to make food today. We got tons of uh, tons of meat. The music reminds you of Walker, Texas Ranger. Wow. That's a reference. Ooh, it looks like we were able to scavenge 14 electronics, 132 scrap, and 34 synthetics off of that uh, wreckage so far. So that's a good good reason to scavenge wreckage is not necessarily all the scrap metal, but other things like you mentioned chat fuel and such. I wonder if you're more likely to find it in like an engine compartment. Like this is this is a, definitely an engine, so I wonder if there's a way to see that or find that in there. What makes sense? Um, he should be high on f the food cooking list. Laura's our farmer, so she should be, yeah, she shouldn't be making the batteries. She should be cooking meals and farming. She's the best. Brown, 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 brown. Wow, nice. Applying 12 out of 40, so it'll increase as the wind picks up. Yeah, Ken has our salvage bonus, but he's only one person. He's good at hunting and salvaging, so... Now construction three. Damn, she's gonna be doing everything here. All right, we gotta make some meals though. change the rules a little bit. We have 177 dried meat. We've been drying meat on these racks to use as jerky. Oh, here, okay. There we go. Got it. All right, problem solved. I was wondering where that was. Oh, hello. Oh, are they going to, like, fight? 
Oh, it's just a baby one. Ah, there they go. They might be eating your crops. Oh, do they do that? Oh, that'd be cool if that actually was a thing. Yeah, I don't think um, dried meat should be under raw food. It, I mean, I guess it is, but it's kind of been prepared. Wait a minute. I didn't get it. Everybody, the order to do this, did I? Yeah, we gotta give everybody the order. I wonder if there's a way where you can tell them to eat something before something else, though. It would be nice to allow them to, like, eat jerky and other things like that if other things were not available. There they go. Grab a little midnight snack. Well, at least Laura's now construction three. Kind of cool, like whenever somebody does something that they haven't done before, they can gain a skill that way. Wait a minute. If they're coming in... Oh, they're coming in to eat my... They are eating my crops. This is awesome. Farthest frontier, baby. That means, well, look at all this free meat. Mm-hmm. Because we need to make that, uh, that oil press pop off. Well, they come over and eat a little bit of... Uh, they eat a little bit of crops, we uh, eat a little bit of them. Yeah, we got a laser pike now. We'll give that to... Who's Who else is going to fight? Combat 7... Oh, he's got phys she's got physical 6. Let's give her the... Uh, Upgraded spear. There we go. That's a smart idea. You can also use a like a meat lure to uh, lure over predators, but you could always build like a little farm. That's a, that's actually a smart tactic. You could build a little tiny farm outside your camp, and whenever the animals eat it, then you can. You basically lure them over to hunt them. So it's like, oh, you lose out on a little bit of grain, but then you get a whole different food type. Which adds to the happiness and could also give you plants for fuel, which is pretty cool. Get him, bro. Oh, damn. They actually, like, take visible damage. Nice. Simon is equipping shirt from there. Yep, then we're going to butcher all those animals too. Uh, Ken gets happy whenever he sees something die, which is why we made him our hunter. Oh, he can get the uh, manual spear then, just in case. How's it inside the house? Woo, 34 in there? Jeez. We'll leave those heaters on, but we'll open up the windows. 
would be cool if there was a way you could self-regulate a room. Like, set the temperature and then the people will do whatever it takes to keep the temperature closest to that, whatever formula. Mm. You, oh, you made your first clip of me busting the first ghost? Nice. It is uh, shareable on the Discord, by the way. Funny moment section, man. Put that in there. We'll pop those onto you, some YouTube shorts. Thanks, man. I'm going to put a few people on making food. Laura's not... Not doing it. Why making shorts if you don't use them? We will as soon as YouTube makes their update to it. We're just waiting on them. You know how they are. We'll probably use them in four years. I'm ready. I'm just waiting on them. They tell us to use YouTube Shorts, and then it doesn't work the way we think it'll work. And then they're like, oh, we're going to update Shorts to work the way you think it'll work. Cool. When is that? Huh? I don't know. Just make YouTube Shorts. Yeah. You know how they are. Ooh. We got a big attack brewing now, boys. Oh, look at this. 16 scarabs are going to come and attack. Oh, boy. Can you check the status of people's clothing? Yeah. If you click on this, you can see that some things are a little lower. I wonder if they'll... Uh... I feel like the people should put the coats away in the winter, but to do it manually is kind of... Well, it's raining outside, so I'm going to let them keep the coats. Maybe that gives them protection from the rain. Heat tolerance, cold tolerance. Well, technically it gives them a little defense, too. Blunt deflection and piercing. Hmm. It's still super early spring, so it could still get really cold. Uh, yeah, this battery's connected. The yellow cord underneath. Hard to see, but it's there. Each battery holds a thousand, so there's two, four, so four thousand. Need more windmills? All right, yeah, all right, Dutch people. Okay, relax. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm working on it. Oh, we gotta get Laura making some more food again. Oh, good, we finished uh, heat pumping. That'll work for next winter. Ah, finally, now we can f focus on fuel mixing. Good. And that means we should be able to research the balloon, which means we can go out on expeditions as soon as that's researched. Hi, right, boys. Time to get to the towers.
We'll just leave the gate open, I think. Where are they at? If we leave the gate open... We can kill them all here in this kill zone, and then we should be able to have a ton more meat. Starship Troopers! Also, these guys really like to attack wood. They're like termites, so. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Her spear actually glows. Nice. Right, nicely done, everybody. We'll do some butchering tomorrow. So we'll put everybody on hunting. Except for Laura. So that way they harvest those uh, meats. Cool. Yeah, apparently she's a Jedi, yeah. Oh, somebody needed a little band-aid. A little bug bite. There you go. Simon Reach Combat 4. Right. Ooh, Thunderstorm. Excellent. That means the Lightning Rod can power this whole base up. As long as it strikes the Lightning Rod. We could get lucky. All right, almost to 4,000. Mm, just uh, about 4,000 to go. <laughs> hey, here we go. What? Is, what is that? Oh, I see. He butchers first, then the meat has to be transported. Excellent. That should allow us to make more of insect fat. Ah, but right. We weren't able to make the fats yet until we have hay. We gotta find some grass. There's some. Oh, damaged battery. Oh, that doesn't count. Nice JP, nice. Yeah, Ghostbusters was good. I'd like to play it again. We might do it again uh, before Halloween. So it was that fun, and it's a kind of a Halloween theme game, kind of. Yeah, you can put two beds next to each other for couples that like each other for a bonus. 
Ah, oh, there, there we go. There's some grass. It's cool. The first time we played this game, too, we felt like everything was going to attack us. So we started out real slow, real scared. Went real slow and carefully. It was cool. Mm. Little repair going on. Okay, so let's do. I feel like we just need to set Laura on making. Like, only food. We should have meat in storage. With bread, we can make... With grain, oils, and fats, we can make bread. Interesting. Let's make it three times. Good, and we've got hay coming in, so that means new fabrics. Good. Luckily, food won't be a problem anymore after all the... Uh oh, yeah, we got dried meat going, too. So even though it says we have zero cooked meals, yeah, they can survive the off the dried meat. We got 238 insect. Excellent. Now we just need more cloth to be made. Yeah. Yeah, make clay into cloth from hay forever. Mom, mom, mom. Cool, we got plenty of food for now until we get the variety for it. That'll be good. Yeah, Space Haven. A little bit of Space Haven vibes from this, too. That's true. Well, I want to build a second floor. I'm not sure if we can do that or not, but if we can, we'll definitely do that uh, in the coming years when we've filled up more of the base. When the time comes, we'll either add a second floor to the house, and if we can't do that, we'll build another little um, house for more sleeping. Then what we could try to do is we could turn this room into two rooms, and we could give one to the couple, one to somebody else, and then we could make another room with, like, f uh, another room like building or a guest house with four more rooms. That should give us enough room for six people, just in case we find somebody else. So plenty of room for expansion. Let's see. I will save power and turn these off. Quinn's getting heat stroke just by being in the bedroom. All right, I'm working on it, bro. All right. We'll leave the fireplace. I, I wonder if they'll only put fire in the fireplace if it's cold enough. Or if they'll constantly do it. 
Yeah, maybe we should put all the food in the bedroom since it's already cooking, huh? That's pretty funny. Okay, so let's do a few more windows. And we should be able to rebuild the target too, finally, with the hay that we've got in. Alright, so this is 10 degrees, 15, 23. Like, I like how we got heat stroke in the bedroom. Just by being in bed. It's just too hot. Yeah, it's a sauna, yeah. We'll charge extra for that. Since they want to live at a luxury hotel, you know? Alright, I think what I'm going to do is clear this land here. Oh yeah, let's get that uh, broadleaf collected too. Cancel that actually. The couple needs a hot tub. Ooh. I wonder if they'll let you do fun luxury items or something like that. I always thought it was funny when they let you do that in, like, um, uh, Valheim, when you could finally build hot tubs. Pretty funny. Is repairing a punching pole. A ah, good little spring cleaning, a little tidy up. All right, let's cut down all the big old trees nearby. Good enough for now. And that'll help us to finish the wall. So then we can continue to build some farms here and here. And then maybe like another house up here in the back. Maybe make a little exit so they can go up here. Oh, actually, wait a minute. There's lots of stuff to mine, so we'll make, we'll make an exit. There were some creatures back here, but they're not as dangerous as we thought. Good, and they're practicing. Yeah, we can make a couple big oak grain fields, yep. Ends fine. Oh, baby. A baby glutch. Wow. Wind is getting some big brain, bruh. Okay, automated turrets and fuel mixing are being researched. Then we should be able to make our balloon and go out and explore more uh, territories that way. Yeah, I want to see how expeditions go, too. We'll have to uh, do our fuel research and then try to build the uh, long-distance travel. Should be a good time. Oh, good. We're making clothing for the winter again. Oh, good. Feeling good. Yeah, third person mode would be cool here. It would be nice as if um, some of the physical jobs made them feel better too, like the uh, wood chopping.
It's almost, you know, it's the same physical activity as the punching pole. You can take your frustrations out on chopping wood. You know what I mean? How do you know when to harvest your crops? Uh, there, it, you can make it automatic, but uh, there is a little thing here that'll show. So this will create, wow, a whopping 640 grain. Jeez. I think it'll grow a few times a year. So, ah, oh, look at this. That's great. You can actually extend your fields. That's good. So if you made a field too small or too big, you can just easily do a little extendo. Nice. What's up, Aaron? Good to see you in the chat, man. Yeah, you can make walls out of stone. Yep. In fact, you can put like little st you could put your farm outside your camp and put little stone walls around it, but if you put your camp if you put your fields outside, they could be eaten. But yeah, you could build a smaller like we could make a wood wall like this and then just put stuff outside of it. Yeah, we started with four people, we went up to five. Oh, looks like we're making animal fat. Good. How's the room now? 19C, that's better. 18 in the kitchen. 15 down here. I like the workshop, man. I like how we built it down, you know? Turned out pretty cool. Well, you get more people randomly, I think. I'm not... I've only had one person come to the camp via a random event. Yeah, the, the stone walls you can build can act like some sort of defense, for sure. Enemy will have to break the wall before they get through to you. Unless they're the stinger boys, then they can shoot over it, but... It'll still keep them back. In fact, you could probably make a double-layered wall that way. You make a stone wall in front of your wooden wall. Keep them back from the main wall. That's a big brain. Big brain emo, yeah. Harvest some more logs. All right, did we turn off all the heaters? I'm pretty sure. That's misleading. Turn on, red X, turn off, <laughs> green check mark. Uh, huh. That one's still on. What if we just set their schedule all to the same? Let's have everybody get up at like... Oh, you can just click and drag that way, nice. No more disturbed sleep. We can have various breaks, but let's... We're gonna have to have some long days. We're trying to survive here. There we go. Nice. 
Let's give that a shot. <laughs> Temperature 100, soil 80, average growth 80, nice. Average growth 47. How's power now? Power is at plus 18. Nice. Oh, we're getting a lot of food. Can't wait till we get a lot of grain, then we can start throwing it into the fermentation tank, too. Let's try to make three of those. It's gonna be spendy, but I think we can make grain more than once per year. Got a lot of animal fats. How's the research going? Over halfway done. Automated turrets will be cool. I think those are actually free in terms of like not having to refill them with ammo. So I'm sure in the future of the game they'll have some sort of munitions production line. But I guess since you don't have to charge the rifles or the pistols, you know, like you don't have to plug them into any sort of station or charge them in any way. Uh, the mushrooms, yeah, we planted those. We planted this for leather, this for grain, this for melons, and this for uh, mushrooms, which should be for medicine. Alright, everybody's getting more... More skilled. What does it mean to have a green name in the chat? Oh, it just means you're a member. Anybody can be a member. Apparently it's... Uh like 20 to 50% off too to smack join for the first time if you hadn't before so enjoy if you'd like to become a member sir you're uh you're kind of in our town oh he's heading for the crops take him down boys Bricks and cement. All right, most of those trees are gone. Let's finish off the wall. Ooh, it looks like this will turn into hay eventually.
Nice. And we'll probably build a gate up here. Throw that in afterwards. You're green. Does that make you the Hulk? Yes. A bear attack? How dare you? How dare you? Oh, we don't have enough storage space for the hay? Oh, that's fine. Oh, wow, we have 128 hides. Oh, nice. Even with this barrel here, it's still accessible. They put stuff in there. That's awesome. What's up, Adam Lee? How are you doing? As soon as we get fuel, then we can start uh, building our expedition station and get out, get the hell out of here. A low battery sensor activates. Oh, this! If we build a low battery sensor, this will actually allow us to um, build a like a generator. And then the generator can take over whenever the battery's low. From the renewables now working. Are we supposed to find more people? Uh, they come to us from, from as far as I know. Alright, our crack team of experts is getting to work. Amaran, welcome aboard as a raptor egg. Thanks for smack and join. Show him some love, chat. Show him some love. I don't think we want any more red meat. Forget it. Yeah, green eyes in the chat. Reminder, this is a bear-free environment. That's true. Bear-free environment, indeed. Oh, a large drying rack. rid of these old ones. A day-night sensor. A thermostat? Is that gonna, like, alert us to certain things? A fan? What? Decreased temperature in four meter radius. This is cool as hell. Yeah, we built the uh, air vents. We have those, but we have better things, which are... Well, we could build air conditioners for the summer, but I don't think we need to do that just yet. Some of these rooms are okay. I love the uh, temperature s systems in this game, though. They call this an air pumper, though. I thought it was like a fan between two rooms to move things around. But anyway, we don't have some of those. The uh, circuit boards and stuff we don't have. All good. All right, goal today, then, is to finish the base walls and then start on making fuel so we can go on a expedition.
Looks like we're out of dried meat, so let's go get some of these boys. We will need more hides, too, for more clothing. And then we can make making uh, meat soup a top priority. And then Laura can work on that. Oh, can we harvest berries? Not yet, but in it, probably in the summer months. I got an idea. Oh no. Oh. Anyway. What is my favorite aspect of the game? I really like the, the heating system and the power. I like how the electricity and the heating work. I've seen stuff like that in um, Space Haven. A game that is kind of like this where you're managing power and electricity and machines make like heat and you have to kind of manage the elect uh, the electricity and the heat in the game. So, you know, you generate electricity to make machines and then those machines are hot, so you have to cool things, but it's also space, so it's a really interesting balance. Oh, you can find people in the world on the balloon missions. Okay. Let's finish this guy off and then we'll All right, finish that one off, Ken. Then you can go get a band-aid. Then we'll do some butchering and then we'll make some uh, beef stew. Oh, it's Simon doing that. Never mind. Oh, deflected. Damn. Okay, so now we'll make a bunch of beef stew. And that'll be nice. Nice. You saved your first guy from bugs? Oh boy. Let's see what else we can do in between meals. Alright, so food takes a long time to grow. Uh, yeah, the heaters should all be shut off. I don't see any of them on. Although the stove will create heat. Oh good, these guys are bringing back a lot of meat. Excellent. And Laura's getting to work cooking some uh, food already. Excellent. Automated turrets complete. Alright, so now we start on the research of fuel. And that's only going to take six hours. Wow. Wow. And from one thing that she just cooked, we got four days worth of food. I don't want to over hunt though. Killing those creatures is kind of like when you hunt the woolly mammoth in Frost in uh, Dawn of Man.
Okay. <laughs> People in games eat strange things. Well, they're having jerky, and we're making like another jerky drying rack. And a beef stew and some other things, but take what you can get, I guess. Like a light bulb needs a little repair. Oh, wow, even the light bulbs can go out in the game. Cool. Yeah, it looks like things will respawn around your camp, and then will wander into your camp or near near it. I guess they get curious. So I can hear lightning coming around. And there it goes. Lightning literally struck the target. Wow. Nice. Lightning Rod took a couple of hits. Uh, yeah, we're making clothing. We're just turning a lot of it into... Um, we're making pants, I think? Yeah, we're making thermal pants. Let's also do shoes. Nice, and now we're constructing the rest of the wall. Okay, next thing will be to... Well, actually, we're done with research for a while. Oh, we can make liquid fuel here, okay. Make 10 of that as well. All right, so fuel mixing is done. Now we can start, uh, hopefully soon, when, once we make fuel, then we can research the balloon. So let's take this down. And we'll do the advanced one there. Oh, boy. AXG, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Hatchling. Thank you very much. Been a long-time fan. Finally, uh, Great to finally be at a live stream. Welcome, dude. Picked a good time to become a member with the uh, big O discount going on. No better time than right immediately now. Uh, you have a mix of lightning. You can get... Well, the lightning rods protect your base from lightning strikes and generate power if it hits it. Solar... Wind and also diesel generators are a thing in this game. But I have this idea. I'm going to build a floodlight above the solar panels and have unlimited power. Genius.
Yeah, now we gotta start making fuel to research some of this other stuff. Oh, it works like that, Chad. It's gonna work. Mongo, welcome back as a raptor egg. Good to see you. Yeah, we're finishing the wall and then building the, um, finishing the research on fuel, and then we're getting out of here. We got a lot of uh, synthetic, or rather, uh, ore around here, and scrap, and then there's a lot more up top. We're in a pretty good spot. New member, welcome. We got lucky. Good. Food's on the rise again. Carl, welcome aboard as a Raptor Egg. Thank you very much for the support, dude. New member, welcome. Yeah. Hey, now we got power cells research. Damn, things are really starting to go here. <laughs> and JP dropping a five bomb. Thank you very much, dude, for the big O support. Wow. Hey, check that out. We get a computer and microscopes and stuff. Congrats to all of you who had your memberships uh, set to allow, so you can be gifted a membership. Boom. Big O. Amen, brother. All right, we should probably turn these on and make some more metal. I'm going to make a bunch more solar panels. Yeah, we get hay from grass, but we can't make, like, wheat to give us, like, straw. Or Sometimes in games they consider straw and hay to be kind of the same thing. Which sometimes is just for simplicity of like production chains, but yeah, not in farm sim. Those are two different things. Hay and straw are two different things. You love RimWorld, so you're really interested in, to see this in 3D. Yeah, this this pretty like cool, uh, kind of out of nowhere type game where it was announced, and I was like, oh, cool, another first person, third person survival builder. That's what the trailer looked like, and uh, this game is. Like, much different than that. And I was thinking it was going to be like, ooh. The trailer didn't do it justice. It's one of those games where it's like, oh. Huh. And then when you play it, you're like, oh. Oh. You'd like to see this with Darker Nights? Well, I suppose you could turn down the gamma if you wanted to. <laughs> I think that works in survival games, but in a game like this, oh, I think I'm going to have to build a power pole over here, actually.
There we go. Yeah, mods for this would be great. I'd love to see a... Um, really want to see a Mad Max game like this. Where you start a little crazy faction. You know, you start with like 8 to 10 people or something like that. And work your way up to like 100 based on some sort of crazy thing like water or... You know, making bullets from the bullet farm. Whatever, gas town. But the real question is, chat, who run Barter Town? The answer is me. I run Barter Town. Alright, cool, we can unlock long distance travel now. Diesel generators as well, let's do that. Oh, we can print nanotubes now too, so we can take advantage of some of that. False rifles, amen, brother. Yeah, let's let's do rifles first. But well, we're gonna save our materials now for a balloon and go find out what's out there. Yeah, that's... Well, actually, you do have to worry about soil quality in this game. There is a different... It's actually kind of cool. They have, um... They put a little attention to detail to that. Like, you can see that there, there's some soil that's more silty or loam. I think there's also... Maybe sandy soil. Oh, there you go. Clay, there's a little bit of clay soil. So, depending on what, your ty what type of plant you're growing... It's not too detailed, but it certainly is a little... There's a little thought into it. So if you're trying to grow like smoke leaf, obviously you don't <laughs> you can't grow it unfortunately where there's a giant burn in the ground. It would be nice if we could reclaim this soil though after a while. I'm asked, uh, Mr. Sir, thank you very much for coming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Did you hear they're doing an, a new Mad Max, but this time it's gonna be Mad Maxine? Um I heard they were gonna do an Welcome. Origin story for uh, Furiosa, which is sweet, but I, I that's movies. I don't know if they're making a new game. However, earlier, if you guys uh, missed it, about uh, a couple hours ago, somebody rushed into the chat and told us that uh, they announced that they're going to be making a new Silent Hill game. On the 19th, they're going to make, uh, like, the official announcement. So they announced the announcement, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So that's cool. Yeah, the last Mad Max game was great. A lot of fun. Hi there. Alright, have we made fuel? I mean, we have, but how much fuel have we made? Ten. Excellent. And we're making lots of food. Excellent. Ooh, the windmills are slowing down. Can you organ harvest like in RimWorld? Uh, you can harvest insects. Yeah, we'll be building more houses and stuff, too. Apparently, everybody kind of wants a private room, but you don't have to do it. It's probably better for your resources to just heat one room rather than heating, like, four or five personal rooms, but... You miss old horror games where the scare comes from the vibe and not the jump scares? Mr. Sir, you should go to Epic Game Store right now there's a free game on there that's been out for a while known as Darkwood. One's in the chat if you've ever played Darkwood or heard of it or seen it. It's a top-down... It, it's, it's like this, kind of. And you control a character, and you get attacked by creatures and have to barricade houses and things like that and build, like, defenses and whatnot. So it's got a little tiny sprinkling, a little bit of this, but think more like Stalker. You know, like Chernobyl. But top-down... 
but just like a crazy, horrific, weird world that's does a phenomenal job with the sounds. It's not much to look at, which is misleading. You think, oh, don't you know? Don't be small brain and think you know. Graphic bad, game bad. Mm -mm. That game will horrify the hell out of you. I can't even watch Darkwood without even getting scared myself. I do that thing where I kind of watch out of the corner. And it's like, ugh. Super atmospheric. The The sound design in that game is... You, you wouldn't think that sounds are so important in a game. But damn. Uh, the environment sounds, the gun sounds, the... Like when you walk around, it's just absolutely terrifying. And it, it has jump scares because you're, you're weak, so when you see an enemy... Well, you're not weak, but... You just... Yeah. It's scary. Good atmosphere. Alright, we've researched long-distance travel. Now we can build a expedition center. And go explore, finally. Let's see... Hot air balloon. Transports explorers to distant locations. We just need leather for that. Well, we can order it to be built. And let's put it over here by the farms. Or maybe over here. Okay, so we just need a little bit more hay and... I love how they tell you what's missing. Signal rocket. A signal rocket rise in the sky. It must be another survivor needing help. Wow. Ah, okay. So we'll get a sixth survivor now. We got a fifth one, but now we got to build the balloon to get a sixth survivor. Cool. Diesel generators researched. We just need 49... No, 50 fabric and leather metal alloys we've got and the sticks we've got. So, yeah, we got to go get more hay. We're using a lot of that on the clothing. Let's go ahead and put that on pause. Let's do this thing first. So, let's find some hay. Oh, there we go. Hey, nobody important. Thanks for being here, dude. Thanks for watching. My colony is way more long than yours. Well, you know, I'm playing on an easier setting just to kind of get a feel for what the game has to offer. And I think the next time I play, I'm going to up the difficulty a bit more. And I want to do a little bit more on the defending side. Although, I think this game's not just meant to be like you know, defensive. You're also supposed to be able to explore and farm and do quite a few things. Yeah, Scorn is good. Nothing too scary about Scorn, but it is just, it's fascinating. Scorn is a, a wonderful game. It tells the story and, it, and that's that's what it is and that's it. Like, hey, um, here's here's what scorn is. Enjoy. Like, what? What was that? Yep, bye. That's it. I love it. It makes no apologies. It just is what it is. All right, let's see if we can find... I need to find more hay. Why do we have to go across the map to find it? Too short, not really replayable. Well... Eh, I'd rather have a game be shorter than longer, you know? Like, recently I played through, like, the Tomb Raider games from, like, 20... What was it? Like, 2014? You know, like, the new, the newer Tomb Raider games, they're, like, what, 12 hours or so? I feel like that's a pretty damn good amount of time for a game before it gets too dragged out. I still have to complete the second Tomb Raider game, but... Um, or, like, the... Uh, Plague Tale Innocence is about 10 hours, maybe 12, if you are super thorough and go to try to find everything. Although that is replayable, but I think a game, unless it's got multiplayer or something like that, should be around like 
10 or 12 hours. Unless it's open world. I, I guess those games are linear. Like Last of Us is linear. And respectful of your time. Alright, so it looks like our friend here is grabbing some fabric. So we're going to try to make fabric making the top thing. Let's get this balloon launched. Let's see what, what's out there for us. You might be able to farm hay? Um, maybe so. I'm not sure. Oh, good. We're fermenting and making medicine. Excellent. Ah, would you look at that? It looks like the grain actually is harvestable a few times a year. So we have 224 hides. 14 scrap cloth, which we're going to try to make into regular cloth. But not enough. We need 50 to make this thing? Okay. Oh, new resource, bread. Excellent. We got oils from animal fat, so that's cool. You know what's weird? Oh, I, I guess it is ve uh, it is vegetarian bread in the game. Because I was going to say, you need to make animal fats to make oil, but you can also make it from the grain. So it could be a kind of a plant-based oil. Oh boy. Oh, all this is delivered. We just need people to build it. Who's good at construction? When? Alright, Quinn will go build the rest of those power things tomorrow. And then hopefully finish up the wall, too. It's close. So Quinn will be on construction. Dude, Quinn single-handedly built the house, man. He single-handedly built the main building and the side building. Ooh. Uh-oh, rain. Hey, we're not too short on materials now. 19 out of 50, over almost over halfway. Getting there. Aaron Steele, you've been a member for three years. Wow, thank you very much for the long-term support. Wow. Quinn, Quinn deserves his own house, yeah. Well, I mean, he'd, you know, he'd build his own house just for fun. Burn it down and then build it again for funsies. All right, once the balloon is done, we're going out on an expedition. We're eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Doing what they say can't be done. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Are we going to do what they say can't be done? That's right. And Wolverines, thanks for the 15 months as a little raptor dude. Thanks for the big O. Big O support. Big O. Old equipment. Oh. AKA clothing needed. Well, hold on, Chief. We gotta put all this cloth into the balloon, then we'll make some pants. New member, welcome. Yeah. Yeah, apparently I've seen screenshots where you can build a mountain base. So like there you could build like a little foundation out here into the cliffside. It'll make it harder for animals to attack you, but then there's only one spot for them to attack, so you kinda have to like be careful about that. 
Because they'll be smart enough to attack that weak point for massive damage. And if they attack your main gate or something like that, they could get in pretty easily. All right, so it looks like tomorrow the balloon will be ready to go. The blonde. Oh, wow. What? It takes 20 liquid fuel to make a diesel generator, and then it also takes fuel to run it? I hope it starts fully fueled. Also, I feel like expeditions will cost fuel as well. Looks like we have metal alloys and we have sticks, don't we? All right, so tomorrow morning, Dorothy is leaving uh, Oz on the hot air balloon. Going back to Kansas. Carry on my... No, not that one. The state. Yeah. Ken deserves a Barbie. All right, so we're making more solar panels. We've got... Batteries at negative two. Nice. Excess, thanks for the 10, dude. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks for the support. Alright, so now that the solar panels are done, now we just need the power lines in, and then all the power should be connected. Hopefully. We had just enough wood to build that section there. You know, I'm surprised that the space debris that falls doesn't start a fire. And burn down all the trees. Yeah, I stream about eight hours a day and then take time to make videos for you guys and then answer a bunch of emails and stuff from developers about upcoming games and stuff. They're like, hey, sorry for emailing you again, but are you sure you don't want a copy of Half-Life 3, please? And I'm like, Gabe Newell, please stop bothering me. He does it every time. Transports explorers to distant locations. Always takes 30. Hmm. Oh, fermented from raw insect meat. Wait a minute. We can make fuel from raw insect meat? I don't see that option. Must have to be researched. It can be mixed from oils and fats on a workbench were fermented. Oh, does the advanced... Oh, this consumes power, too. Carbon rooms. Uh, let's research pistols next, then synthetics and nanotubes. Uh, how much fuel are we making? We need 30. Cut down a few more trees. Makes you want to buy every new game he plays. Me? No. Well, this is a good one. Or at least I've enjoyed it so far. These are the types of games that I enjoy playing, no matter how similar or different they are. And it's just fun to like organize a base, throw a wall around it. Ooh, the berries are available. Very good.
Okay, so a bunch more trees are going to be cut down. That'll finish the wool. And we've got 10 fuel supplied. Tan, you're just here for the nuggies? Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, you guys are here for the hair. You guys tell me that all the time. I'm gonna... Alright, Chad, if we don't get to 4,000 members tonight, I'm shaving my head. Period. <laughs> uh, can you check the integrity on the guns you have? Good question. I think you can. Yeah, anytime you click on a character, you can see integrity. I wonder if there's a way to repair these. There's ways where we can repair lights and doors and fences and stuff if they take damage, but it doesn't look like there's a way to repair clothing or weapons. It just looks like it has to be, like, rebuilt. What's up with the drying racks? Yeah, I don't know why they're, I don't know why they're not destroying that one. Let's ask them to keep that empty and then... Let's go ahead and have them empty that and then... Uh-oh. Shrieking noises. Recently on quiet nights, the wind carries over weird shrieking noises. And unsettling as they are, a source may be more unpleasant. Creepy. Uh-oh. I will turn... Oh, there they... Oh, there they go. Now they're building it. Anyway, I want I want that stick drying rack to get out of there so we can build this one. Wait, even with all those solar panels, it's still not enough, huh? Well, then again, the poles need to be built so that the power can be brought back to the uh, battery. I have to figure out a nice way to do a layout here and find out the mathematics between you know, how far a pole can be laid out. Looks like it's about eight, maybe? Uh, I don't think... I didn't see a way to set building priority. I guess you could put all the other buildings on pause. If you're building two things, you just pause the other one, but... Well, let's try to deconstruct that. Then we just need to supply fuel. And fuel just needs... Yeah, we'll put that higher on the, uh, the list. There we go. Alright, let's go on a mission. As soon as that's done. Yeah. Yeah, the, these bugs can fly right over the walls, yeah. Luckily, they're not too big of a deal. It would be cool if we could make, like, a gun turret. Like, they have automated turrets, but it would be cool if there was a cross between building, like, a tower and then putting a gun on it so someone can have, like, you know, 360 degrees of fire. Cool. That's pretty... That's, a very, that's very hot. 360 degrees, that's going to be... Is it a flamethrower then? Wow. They always talk about the temperature when it comes to that. I don't know why. Why don't they just say it can fire in a full circle? Idiots. All right, y'all ready to go on a mission? Let's do an expedition, finally. So, we have the Shrieking Noises expedition. But I want to do... Well, this one's two hours. This one's two days. Oh, travel time. Fly the balloon high and look around for points of interest. New expedition sites may be unlocked as a result. Each consecutive expo... Oh. It takes more time? Why would... That makes no sense. Some Two, two points... <laughs> can't get further away from each other. That doesn't make sense. Let's send Ken. He's a badass. 
We send multiple? Oh, just one. Okay, bye, Ken. Don't die. He'll go tomorrow. All right, very cool. Very cool indeed. Brother, yeah. So we also have to figure out what the shrieking noises are. If we get another person, we're gonna have to. Now we're gonna have to start making those uh, pulse rifles and defend ourselves against these guys, the pointy death machines over here. That'll be pretty cool. More time because you're going out further. Oh, maybe, maybe that's what they mean. That could be. But I'm hoping that it doesn't increase the time to the other location on the expedition that already exists. This one here. Freaking noises. Uh-oh, what the hell? Uh-oh, they're mad. Hold on, Ken. <laughs> I know you were going to bring the gun, but... Oh, you're, oh, you're leaving. Okay, well... We're about to be attacked, boys. You got that sweet Star Wars spear. Can you close that gate. Oh, nice. When you draft somebody, you can give them the order. No animation for the gate opening and closing. Unplayable. Absolutely unplayable. What was the signal flare? I think that was the... Uh, some other person wanting rescue. So we might be able to get up to six people. And Ken left on his little adventure. On the balloon. Oh, we can actually look around this way. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could do that. So this is like Ken being up in the balloon looking around. Oh, there he goes. Bye, Ken. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. You see him? <laughs> That's hilarious. Shrieking noises are over there, and a bit that's no moon. Actually, I think I think we're on the moon of this planet here, whatever this is. I think I think this is an Earth-like moon. Is there a way to tell how long Ken will be on the mission? He's sleeping, of course. Ken, you sure you don't want to fly that thing? Anyway, let's deal with the uh, Bulbasaur invasion. You guys have 50 health each. Exploration complete. New expedition site found. I detected one of the ship's data storage devices. These small modules contain bits of the ship's memory, flight logs, crew profiles, personal mails, and whatsoever. Okay. Uh, go there. Uh, the data core, a large quartz-like column with a broken terminal, was emitting a dim, a dying dim light. Quickly figured out that this was just part of the ship's library to access the emergency survival encyclopedia. I'd already collected some notes when the data core went dark for good. This will benefit us. Oh, good, we get uh, research. Improved railgun snipers. Sweet, bruh. That's going to be awesome for our, our turrets. Fantastic. Handsome guy? You talking about me or Ken? Actually, all the people in this game are pretty. <laughs> they did a... I don't know if these are real people or if these are, like, computer-generated, but they all look like they could be... You know what this looks like? This looks like... You know when they were continuously making the CSI shows and there were cities you never heard of? Like, first it was CSI and then, like, CSI Miami. By the certain time you get to, like... You know, C CSI Waukegan, Illinois, and it's like, what the hell? And then, like, Ken is, like, the lead detective. Like, these people look like actors, but you you don't know... Who, you've never seen them before. That's what they're like. They're like, you know, cable TV actors that you can't really... You know, it's like another another tier of, like, uh... uh what is it called? Uh, Law and Order. Law and Order. Super, super special victims unit. It's like, oh, wow. Why are they so special? Anyway, invasion. Let's deal with him. Well, oh, watch it, boys. He's coming in full speed.
Watch it, boys. That, by the way, that's like times two speed. Here's his... Hey, what the hell? Hey, where'd you go? Simon, we don't need you in bed. Get your ass back in that tower. Oh, Lord, he coming. One down. Yeah, actually, Simon totally had time for that nap. I shouldn't have stopped him. Nice. Oh, you can uh, open the gate now, ma'am. All right, cool. My buddy's off duty. Did Ken come back? And Dee Dee did. He probably needs a nap. Yep. Ken's got a nap time now. All right, shrieking noises. We'll find out what those are soon enough. All right, let's make sure we've saved. Uh, let's see. Last time we saved one, two, three. Let's go four, five, six. Yeah. Brother, yeah. All right. So, tomorrow morning our goal is going to be to continue our expeditions here in Stranded Alien Dawn. And tomorrow, oh yes, Plague Tale Requiem comes out and we get to play it a little bit early, I, I think. Or it's coming out next week, so we're going to do that starting tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back for more Stranded Alien Dawn tomorrow morning and then go into uh, Requiem, a.k.a. Plague Tale. Requiem, it's going to be awesome. Hope to see you all there. Thanks again for watching. We'll continue on with this save tomorrow morning and continue expanding the base and our power grid. Thanks again for hanging out. Hope you all enjoyed the stream. Hope you all enjoyed your weekend. And I hope to see you all tomorrow. Look at that. Power is bussing. Bussing now. Awesome. All right, you all take care, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again for all the big O super chats. Thanks for all the big O gift bombs. Welcome to all the new members. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Check out Stranded Alien Dawn now in early access on Steam. Hope to see you all tomorrow. Goodbye, buddy. See you soon, and thank you, Bayou, for the 50,000 IDR. IDK what that is, but thank you very much, dude. Indonesian something? Thank you very much for your support, man. Appreciate it. Good night, everyone.